Uh, I call the, uh, the the member for Grey. I call the member for Durack. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'm very pleased to speak on the member for Grey's private members' business. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, social harm caused by welfare fuelled alcohol, drug and gambling abuse is a key priority for this government, and that is the reason why the government initiated and has started the trials of the cashless debit card. And I do want to underline the word trial. Indeed, it is a trial, and, and of course we will assess this in another six months' time. As the Overcoming Indigenous Advantage report um, found, which was released on Thursday, found rates of family and community violence were unchanged, Madam Deputy Speaker, between 2002 and 2014-15, and risky long-term alcohol use was similar during the same period. The proportion of adults reporting substance mis misuse in the previous 12 months increased by 7 per cent to 31 per cent during the same period, according to the report. And despite numerous initiatives by governments across all tiers and persuasions during this period, these results, I think, by all of those who are in this House, is incredibly disappointing, Madam Deputy Speaker, and illustrate what I've said in this place only last year following the closing of the GAP report that more needs to be done. Madam Deputy Speaker, the cashless debit card, which is being trialled in Sejuna in South Australia and in the East Kimberley in my electorate of Durack, was introduced to reduce social harm caused by welfare fuelled alcohol and drug abuse, particularly with respect to domestic violence and mental health issues, as well as an increase in childhood school attendance overall. The trial of the card in Kununurra and Wyndham which started in April, has had a profoundly positive impact, Madam Deputy Speaker, on the West Kimberley, leading to a decrease in crime and also a decrease in general antisocial behaviour in the region. Senior Sergeant Steve Principal, head of Kununurra Police Station, has said that since the trial started, there are fewer intoxicated people in public, which is great news for the people and the businesses in the West Kimberley and also for tourists as well. And more positive news, the ambulance call-outs um, have dropped by some 30 per cent from, from this time last year, according to the local AMBOs. There has been a dramatic decrease of alcohol-related hospital emergency room visits since the trial began in April, which illustrates, Madam Deputy Speaker, the flow-on effects that reducing alcohol consumption can have. The success of the trial in the East Kimberley, Madam Deputy Speaker, is without a doubt due to the leadership and courage of the local Indigenous leaders. And I'd like to pay tribute um, today to Ian Trust, and, and I'd like to just um, quote some words that I've read of his just recently. And I quote, unlike other reform efforts undertaken by government, it has been the Indigenous leaders of the East Kimberley who have led the reform. And he goes on to say, we believe it's a model that could drive reform across the country. Now, I accept that this is still a trial and there's still a long way to go, but I have to say from where we are in the East Kimberley, I do agree with Mr Truss's um, observation. Madam Deputy Speaker, under the trial, we have seen a reduction in family and domestic violence incidents. And I'm particularly proud that this government has announced another $100 million um, last year with respect to the women's safety package. And last month, the Prime Minister launched the third action plan of the national plan to reduce violence against women and their children, 2010 to 2022. I'm very pleased that in January, the Fitzroy Women's Resource Centre, which is based in Durack, was awarded um, an additional 150,000 to help domestic violence, help with the, to address domestic violence. The funding was to allow the centre to provide workshops and smaller focus groups designed to be managed by a group of Indigenous leaders, supported by staff, experienced in running community initiatives, promoting and enhancing safety and wellbeing of women and children, which is real action run by locals in local communities. So I do congratulate them and June Oscar um, for that particular grant. With the time remaining, I do want to make the point that with every scheme we have, whether it's uh, alcohol management plans, there's always someone out there who will scheme a system. There's always someone who will take advantage of the disadvantaged. And uh, this is a trial that, that so far there's some who are knocking it, but there, there have been a lot of positive impacts that are from, from the cashless welfare card. And I think we need the time, which is another six months to run before we can actually fully assess it. But um, we need to hang in there because I think by far and large, the benefits outweigh the negative impacts of the card so, da so 
to date that have been impacted. Thank you. Okay, thank Madam you. Speaker. Would you